Now we are going to see about the featured section. Let's see the design in the Figma. So this is the design of the feature. At the top uh, we have a title and a paragraph which is in the center. So for this let's make it as a fixed width. But based on the design we can create a grid. So we can create two wraps, one at here and other at here. So inside this wrap we can create another two wraps. The same follows for the second wrap. So actually it's enough to create one wrap and we can make the copy of others. And for the second wrap we need to give the padding at the top. And finally we have a button at the bottom and one border line. So we can create this border line for the container. Now let's get into the design. I'm creating a frame for the feature. Inside it let's create a container. I'm giving it as fill and make the max width to 1200. So we need to create a title and a paragraph. Inside this let's create a title and a paragraph. Now I'm copying the text and let's replace it. So we have created the title and a text. We need to make it as center. So for the title let's align it to the center. The same follows for the paragraph. Now we need to give the fix to it. Let's check it. That is 650. Now give the height to fit content. So we have finished the content wrap. Next, work wrap. So again I am creating an another wrap here. We need to say the direction for this container to vertical. Fill the width and inside it we need two wraps. One frame is enough for now and then we can make the copy of it. Inside it we need to add an image and a text with the title and some of the paragraph. So I'm creating a frame that is for the image and let's select the image. Now we need to give the radius value. Let's check it from let's check it from the design that is around 30. And also we need to check the width and height that is around 570. Coming to this, let's give the height to fit content, fit content. And beside this image, we need a title. So let's create an another frame which is beneath this image. Let's make the direction to vertical. This is for content. Let's make this layer to stack. Inside this, we need a title and another paragraph. So I'm copying this. Let's make this content to vertical and fit and fit. Let's see its size that is 40. We are going to use gray. Let's make the alignment to left. We have done the first work that is work wrap. And we need to copy this work wrap and paste. And let's make the work full wrap to in vertical. Okay. And we need to copy this work full wrap for another before that we need to make this work full wrap inside an another wrap so again i'm creating a wrap above the work full wrap so for that control alt enter the wrap will be created full wrap so now i'm going to duplicate this work full wrap so now we have created now we need to adjust its size so let's make it to fill 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 so we have done. Let's create a spacing between this content and a work wrap. So in the container, let's give the wrap to 50. And for the full wrap, let's select work full wrap. And I'm going to give the gap that is around 100. Let's do the same for work full wrap. That is a second wrap. we have a sum of the spacing between these two wrap so let's make that two for that i'm choosing full wrap now we need to give the spacing at the top so i'm choosing word full wrap and i'm giving the padding value at the top to 100 but the first wrap alignment is missing so for that i'm choosing this full wrap 
and I'm making the distribution to start and make the alignment to the top so that we have made the change as like in our design. Now let's change the images of every wrap and we need to change the every content so let's make that too. Now we need to add the button at the bottom. So let's add that. For that I am choosing container. Under the container I am inserting the button. The button is creator and let's change the text. The spacing between this content and the word grid is not enough. So let's change the gap to 100. And we have a considerable spacing at the top so let's go to the feature section and give the padding value at the top to 140. the same follows for the bottom but only the thing is there is a border line at the bottom so we should be inside the container so I'm choosing the container and I'm going to give the border that is only for the bottom And also we need to give the padding value at the bottom. So we have created the feature section of this landing page. You can always walk through by checking out my other videos in the Framework Beginner Tutorial playlist. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything. See you in the next section. I have uncovered detailed insight in my upcoming Beginner Framework friendly course. For additional information, check the link in the description below.